diagnostic hard problem that tests your ability to solve the rule of side lengths and the triangle comes to us from the fabulous, amazing Nelson Fu, the author of The College Band, The Math Book. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to invite you to pause your screen, take out a piece of paper and a pencil, um, try to solve this problem, and then unpause the video and we will solve this together. Let's go. All right, my chickens, if you are confused, it's okay. It's okay to be confused because so far we have been using this other part of the rule. We were always looking at the upper limit. How, um, how long could the side, the third side not be? So if one side is 20, another one is eight, the maximum uh, length of that side is 27.5 or 27.9. It cannot be 28 or longer. But what about how short can it be? What is the shortest it could possibly be? So that's why we have this part of the rule, um, A minus B. A minus B and C has to be greater than, if we just um, reverse this rule or um, rewrite it differently, not really reverse, but just rewrite it, C is greater than A minus B. And you could do absolute value if you want, but I just always uh, choose to make A greater than B so that it makes sense. But you could do absolute value if you're, if you're willing to. So now that you have this new piece of uh, information, this new clue, do you have ideas how to solve this? All right, so let's do this together. 20 minus eight, C is inside, that's your third side and then 20 plus eight. What I'm doing is I'm just replicating the rule. Now let's solve this, 12. So your C is trapped between 12 and 28, but it cannot equal to 12 and 28. And they're asking you about positive integers. So C could be anywhere from 13 to 27. And if we count carefully, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, you get 15. So 15 is your answer. I hope you liked this video and it helped you remember the rule. And I, I'm encouraging you to make a flashcard and write it down so that um, every evening before you fall asleep, you can place a stack of flashcards onto your pillow. So every time you get into bed, there are flashcards in there. Just review them quickly right before the test so that when you see a question like this, you're not going to be stumped and thinking, oh, what is it? Um, it's a simple rule, and I hope you guys all do spectacularly well on your SAT. Bye.